Welcome to High Spirit Vlogs. In today's video, we are going to be showing you around the Andy Warhol's art exhibition. The exhibition is actually held at the Halcyon Gallery in Mayfair, London. According to the gallery, the exhibition will be running from the 16th of June until the 16th of August. The exhibition is completely free to attend. However, due to what is going on, you may have to check the website to see about booking an appointment before attending. Also, if you'd like to have a private viewing, again, you can also book via the website. The link is in the description if you're interested in a private viewing of Andy Warhol's works. Halcyon Gallery has been dealing with Andy Warhol's work for over 30 years and this knowledge and unique insight of his work makes this exhibition particularly special. One of the special things in this exhibition is that you get to view Warhol's early illustrations of the 1950s. This gives you a more personal and intimate experience with the artist's early work. Upon entering the gallery, you are greeted with a wide range of Andy Warhol's most famous and iconic works. Some of which actually include the, the famous Campbell Soup artwork. These pieces have been known to make major shifts in the cultural space. In this gallery, they show the most important works that have impacted the world of contemporary art. The exhibition is full of popping colours that lift your mood even from the minute that you walk in. Even if you're not well versed in the arts or have very limited knowledge of the arts, this exhibition will put a smile on your face and spark some positive nostalgia in you. For those of you who don't know who Andy Warhol is or have very little knowledge of him, I'll give you guys a quick summary. Andy Warhol was part of the pop art movement. Pop art is basically all about making art that's inspired by things from popular culture. He was born Andrew Warhol in 1928 in Pennsylvania. Warhol liked to use bright colours and silk screening techniques. He liked using screen printing to mass produce artworks based on photographs of celebrities and iconic figures. One of his most famous silk screening works was of Marilyn Monroe. Andy Warhol's work feels more relevant now than ever, especially with the power of social media and the rise of influencers impacting popular culture. When you see his work, you can see the strong parallels between what was considered popular back in the 50s and the 60s and what is considered popular today in our present day. In the beginning of the 1960s, pop art was an experimental art form that several artists during that time were independently adopting. Some pioneers such as Roy Lichtenstein would later become strongly connected with the movement. Andy Warhol's early exposure to popular culture soon transformed into an obsession. He was obsessed with fashion, fame, glamour, celebrity and Hollywood. Warhol absorbed these influences and it grew into his new style of making popular subjects to be part of his creative toolkit from which he would communicate his ideas. As you will see in this video, his early paintings show images taken from cartoons and television commercials. His sources of inspiration were boundless. Another thing you may have noticed in this exhibition is that Warhol rarely used just one medium to create his artwork. Warhol worked across a wide range of media. This included painting, photography, drawing, sculpture and even filmmaking. In addition to his repertoire of being an amazing artist, he was also considered a highly prolific filmmaker. His approach to art was a very three-dimensional 
and he saw every type of media as an opportunity to effectively communicate his ideas. Between 1963 and 1968, he actually made more than 60 films. Working in different media during that time must have been pretty difficult, especially transitioning from one different media to another form of media. So this was just another testament to how dedicated he was to his work. I'll just show you the sights of the gallery so you can experience it for yourself through the screen. Overall, the exhibition was incredible. It reasserted Andy Warhol as the pioneer of pop art and also served as a strong reminder of how popular culture has developed to what it is today. If you ever get time, feel free to come and visit. If you are unable to visit, you can always watch this video again and feel like you are in the exhibition. If you got a lot of value from this video, please subscribe and like. We'll be sharing more value on our journey. See you guys later. Bye.